throw them damn sex toys away. I know y'all got them. Throw that shit away. Get to the man. <laughs> Tell him how you like it. He'll do it that way. Right. Shit. shit. They got sex toys and all kinds of shit, man. You fucking look at their fucking drawer. You just fucking drop your motherfucking head. Your whole manhood just dropping. You gotta leave. Right. This shit in the fucking goddamn drawer bigger than, five times bigger than your shit. What are you gonna do? And they, they ain't taking all that shit, man. They ain't got shit that shit is dragon pieces. That's, that's the new, that's the new fad. They call it dragon rods, man. Where the rods aren't even shaped normally no more. They got fucking curves and shit in it, and it's curving up, twisting, shape. The head don't even look like a normal head. So they, man, it's gone, bro. Now, now they got this one thing called the puppy pussy. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. And niggas is buying this shit, man. Sick. Motherfuckers take a Heineken bottle and put it all up in their in shit. A fucking Heineken bottle? Come on, man. A Heineken bottle, big Heineken bottles, man. Come on, man. This fucking shit. Remember it says, disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents, man. You disobedient to your house boss and y'all shy. For one. And I know you disobedient to your, your earthly parents, man. Right. Half the motherfuckers, you, you know, hey, you grow up without a father or a, fa a father in the house, you out of control. Yeah. You doing what you want to do, man. You know? But mainly you disobeying the, the heavenly father, man. And his covenant, man. You know? Go ahead. Now this is... This is, uh... Huh, no. Without understanding covenant breakers. See, covenant breakers, man. They, they, they ain't got no faith, man. None at all, man. See, no faith. So if they ain't got no faith, you know, you know they ain't got no work. They ain't got no faith at all, man. They faithless, man. You know? Go ahead. No, it says, no, no. without natural affection. Without natural affection, man. Go ahead. Implaceable. Implacable. Uh, meaning what? That, that word means uh, truth breaker. Implacable means without a treaty of the things mutual agreement. Host uh, hostility that cannot be persuaded to enter into a covenant. Right? So it's no way for us to really talk them out of not being a sodomite. They come up here, if they sodomite, man. They ain't gonna hear us, man. We ain't gonna talk them out of that, man. They just have to die on this side, man. Go ahead. It says, unmerciful. Mm. It says, knowing the judgment of the Most High, mm -hmm. that they which commit such things are worthy of death. So, yeah. commit such things worthy of death. Devil, man. Got your precept. It went right into it. The mother spirit is beautiful. This is Daniel's 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. None of the wicked gonna understand what we're saying up here, man. They're gonna keep on being sodomites, man, to the end. To, to, to the nuclear missiles hit their ass, man. You know? You people some fucking punk asses out here too, man. Soon as the first pow, 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 you out of a Jesus and you hitting the ground. You know? Man, wait till that day, man. Man, we're gonna fuck you up, man. The Lord gonna fuck you up with thermonuclear missiles, man. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, none. but the wise shall understand. The wise gonna understand, man. They're going to understand, and they're going to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, man. I mean, I did, I did six, six, fifteen. Uh, any of the business, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? The wives are going to understand, man. The elect are going to hear these words, and they're going to take heed, man. You know? It'll be a beautiful thing if you how about you now trying to put some spirit on the instant of our brother to, to uh, listen to the videos, man. You know, because he didn't even know why he came by here. So it's a, it'd be a beautiful thing if the Lord, you know, put him in and come back and something he brought to learn. You know? Go ahead. Because this is um, Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the hour will come with 
with fire. It's gonna come with fire, man. That thermonuclear fire, man. The ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Go ahead. It says, and with his chariots, like a whirlwind. Like his chariots, like a whirlwind, man. When the Yahweh shot come back, the chariots, the uh, angels gonna be with him, man. In, in, in the atmosphere, man. They gonna be shooting it up, man. Go ahead. It says, to render his anger with fury. To render his anger with fury. Not our anger, his anger. The anger he gonna have, man, we can't even fathom, man. He said with fury, man. Fury means he's, he's, he's really angry, he's great rage, man. With this place, man. That's why this, when the thermonuclear destruction hit, it's going to burn America flat and desolate, man. Uh, Ain't nothing going to be left here but, but desert animals, man. And files, man. To pick at the marrow from your fucking dried up ass bones and be buried under the ground, man. Go ahead. It says, in his rebuke with flames of fire. Go ahead. In his rebuke. With flames of fire. Come with flames of fire, man. Give me a uh, second minute read. Element, man. This concrete is an element. This wood is made of an element. You have wood 
about the, the uh, uh, periodic uh, table with all the elements on there. Our bodies are made of hydrogen, water, magnesium, phosphorus. Everything out here is made up of the elements. You said the elements go melt with fervent heat. Fervent heat, a million times hotter than your, than your, than your fucking stove, man. You know, go ahead. It says, no, it says, uh, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And all the works therein. These are works therein. These buildings that man have put up with concrete, which is an element, is going to be burnt up, man. Go ahead. It says, seeing then that, that all these things shall be dissolved, mm -hmm. what manner of persons ought ye uh, to be in? Oh, you are in holy place. All right, uh, uh, all holy conversation. All holy conversation. So when we get together, that's what we speak on, man. We speak on this instruction, man. You should, you should, you should meditate on the instruction. When you speak to the brother, that's what we talk about, man. We might talk about worldly things, but we, we filter through the scriptures, man. You people out here just talk about worldly shit constantly every day. Oh, LeBron went to the Lakers. How much money did he get? Who going next? All that old shit. This is Zachariah. Can I get this real quick? Hey, how much more you got? Uh, let him finish. Okay, no, yeah, let him finish. Let him finish. It says, in uh, all holy conversation and godly, looking forward and hastening. We hasten it, right? We want this to happen like yesterday. Go ahead. It says, uh, 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 looking forward and hastening to the coming of the day of your hour. Wherein the heavens being on fire, heavens being on fire by these thermonuclear missiles, go ahead. Shall be dissolved. Shall be dissolved, man. Oh says, shit. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It says the elements, man, gonna melt with fervent heat. He said it twice, man, in one chapter. Uh -huh. So that's important. We hear the Lord say the same thing in, in one chapter. Okay. This is Zechariah 14, verse 12. And this, and this shall be the plague wherein the Lord shall smite all the people that are fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. While they stand upon their feet, man. Your flesh gonna fall right off the bone. Just like uh, in the Terminator movie, Sarah Connor had the dream of the thermonuclear destruction when it hit, she was on the fence, man. And her flesh come right off the bone, man. Go ahead. Uh, it says, and this shall be the plague wherein the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against the roof. All you people that have fought against the roof, man. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. Any of you that put your hand on this, man. We're the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Come. Anybody of y'all that did wrong to the nation of Israel, the Lord is going to pay you back, man. The thermonuclear fire, man. Their, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Uh -huh. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Your eyes going to straight disappear out of your head when these missiles hit, man. Because it's going to be a blast of fire and a wind. It's going to be probably a million degrees hot, man. You ain't going to have no choice but to just disintegrate, man. You know? Go ahead. And it says... While they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, God. and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Straight destruction, man. That's nuclear destruction, man. And that's what we, that's what we, hey, we look forward to that day, man. Go ahead. Huh, this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 4. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise mm -hmm. uh, of the kingdoms of nations mm -hmm. gathered gather, uh, together. Mm -hmm. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. We're going to muster that host of the battle. We're going to have y'all go into Har uh, up the land of Armageddon, man. Yeah. The mouth of truth, man. He's, gonna, he's getting ready to send y'all over there for your, for your death, man. You know? God says, it says, they come from a far country. They come from a far country, man. These missiles are going to come from Russia, man. Sorry. They're going to come from Korea. They're going to come from China. They're going to come from Pakistan. And your, your mother, great friend, is going to also turn her back on you and shoot missiles on you, boy. Uh, it says, from the end of heaven, mm -hmm. even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation. God, weapons of his indignation, righteous anger, man. Oh, 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 oh. Man. To destroy the whole land. To destroy the whole land. America, man. AKA Babylon, AKA Sodom, AKA Egypt, man. It's going to be destroyed, man. Con, I'm going to say, how ye for the, con, uh, says, how ye for the day 
of Yahweh is at hand. It's at hand, man. It's now. So that's why we come out here week in and week out, man, to prophesy, man. Because soon the Lord is going to take us off these streets. Soon the Amos, the 8th chapter, man. You know? It says, uh, this shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. It's going to be a destruction from the Almighty. So this, this destruction is coming from the Most High, man. For your filthy acts of abominations that you have committed on the planet, man. Because you have not uh, had faith and turned back to him, man. This is, this is Jeremiah 50 and verse 23. It says, How is the hammer of the earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid snares for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. And thou was not aware. Thou, it says, Thou art found and also cut, because thou hast strived against the Lord. The Lord has opened his armory and has brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of the Chaldees. The work of the Lord, man, in the land of your witches, man, America, man. Give me uh, uh, Malachi 4, you got 2nd Ezra, uh, 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 the ninth chapter of Revelation. This is uh, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It says, it says, uh, for behold, of the day coming that shall burn as an oven. He's using an analogy of an oven, man. If you put, if you put your hand in an oven and it's on 550, your head in there, you're going to get it out of there because it's going to be hot. But this, these missiles are going to be a million times hotter than your oven. So you're using an analogy of an oven, man. If you leave bread in the oven too long, it's going to burn, man. So he's using that analogy that that day is going to be uh, hot like an oven, man. Go ahead. No, it says, and all the proud, yay, and all that do wickedly. Who is that? Esau. Yep. Right? Yep. And two-thirds of our own people, but you walk hand in hand with Esau. So in uh, 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 Proverbs 11, chapter 21st verse, you walk hand in hand, and the Lord told you, though so you walk hand in hand, right? They both shall. You old wicked shall not go unpunished. You supporting them, man. Uh, hand in hand, when you look that up, it means support. You support the, you support the uh, philosophy of the place of America, man. You drinking the wine, man. So they go ahead. He says, Kind of, uh, shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them. The day that comes shall burn them, man. Yeah. That's that day of thermonuclear destruction, man. Go ahead. It says, kind of says, um, no, it says, 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 uh, Yahweh of hope that it shall leave them neither blood nor bread. It's gonna leave them neither root nor bread, man. So your whole generation gonna be wiped out. Just like that latest generation got wiped out on them the double boat today, man. She lost her whole fucking family, man. In, 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 one, in one little event, everybody in her family, nine people was gone. The Lord gonna take out Esau's whole generation, man. With the thermonuclear destruction, man. He ain't gonna leave you neither root nor branch, man. Go ahead. No, this is uh, the book of... Uh, Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Hide thyself. 